Keisha. So this week I have a really quick video. In my video last week, I shared how I have a mark making book. And so that's what I'm showing on the screen right now. So these are marks that I just love and I love to make. Um, and so what I've done in this book is a five by five book, journal book. And what I've done is I put tape around the edges and then I went ahead and made the marks that I like. So this is one of my favorites. It's a common mark I'm sure anybody makes but I absolutely love it. It's my favorite. Now here I also use this book to keep track of marks that are made with handmade brushes that I made. So I'll definitely uh, work on doing a video on the handmade brushes that I made, but this was just another way to keep track of those different marks. And I think they're really nice. Some of them look similar and some of them don't. Like this one definitely looks different than some of the ones you'll see as we move forward. But I think it's a really nice way to see marks and something you can look back on and see what type of marks you like. And you can use them in your future abstract product projects or whatever you'd like to use it on. creating one of these for yourself. You can use all kinds of things to make marks, toothpicks, anything you can find around the house. Just go ahead and just put it in here because it's nice to have a record of what you like. So if you like this video, I just go ahead and subscribe and click the bell. And please, if you like it, click the like button. I would appreciate that. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I definitely try my best to get back to everyone because my goal is to help you if I can. So I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and let me know if you have a mark making book. I'd love to know. Mm -hmm.